Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have revealed they wish to give their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor a normal life. But what kind of normal job could baby Archie have when he grows up? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are keeping much of their son Archie Harrison Mountbatten Windsor's christening private from the public, instead choosing to share images after the ceremony is over. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have not given their son a royal title and have kept him out of the public eye in a bid to give him as normal a life as possible. Not all members of the royal family are working royals, instead choosing to have their own jobs and careers outside the monarchy. But what kinds of careers have other members of the royal family chosen to pursue instead of being a working royal? Archie Harrison is seventh in line to the throne, which means he is often expected to have followed in the footsteps of his royal cousins Prince George, Princess Charlotte and Prince Louis. According to royal historian Professor Kate Williams, the couple intends for Archie to live a normal life. She told Vanity Fair, the chances are one day, Archie will have a career and a job. So who else in the royal family has held down real-life jobs? The Queen's eldest grandchild Peter Phillips has previously held positions at Jaguar, Williams F1 Racing Team, the Royal Bank of Scotland, and most recently Cell UK. According to Bretts, he has had his own sports management company since 2012. Princess Eugenie is another royal who in addition to royal engagements, has an everyday job. The newly wedded Eugenie uses her art degree in her everyday job as director at the London Art Gallery Hauser & Worth. Her sister Princess Beatrice also currently works in the business and finance sector at software company Affinity. Although Prince Edward is now a full-time working royal, he previously had a career in TV production. His wife, Sophie, Countess of Wessex, worked in public relations until 2002. She founded own public relations firm called RJH Public Relations in 1996 and stayed on as chairman until she married Prince Edward. But since that time she has now joined her husband in working as a full-time royal. Zara Tyndall, formerly Phillips, is the daughter of Princess Anne and Mark Phillips. Zara is an incredibly accomplished equestrian and even won silver at the Olympics. On top of that, the mother of two is also an ambassador for Land Rover and a candy baby prams and has collaborated with Kalia on a jewelry collection. Lady Rose Gilman is the daughter of the Duke and Duchess of Gloucester, who is the Queen's cousin. She spends her time working as an art assistant and has even completed some film work, including helping with two of the Harry Potter films. Prince William and Prince Harry's second cousin Lady Amelia Windsor is a model and is signed to model management agency Storm Models. The Queen's nephew David Armstrong Jones, Earl of Snowdon, the son of the late Princess Margaret, makes furniture and works at Christie's Auction House in London. And it is not only the distant family members who have held real-world jobs. During World War II, the then 18-year-old Princess Elizabeth II joined the Women's Auxiliary Territorial Service trained as a mechanic and truck driver for the military. Prince Charles has experience working as a filmmaker, producing a film called Harmony, a new way of looking at our world which explored his interest in environmentalism. Prince Harry served in the armed forces for two deployments to Afghanistan, holding a lieutenant and captain before he ended his active service. His brother the Duke of Cambridge also had a full-time job working as a helicopter pilot for the East Anglian Air Ambulance which he ended to undertake royal duties full-time.